Hey guys, so welcome to a new video. What do you think? Oh, very nice. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. What do you think? Nice. But wait, you ain't seen nothing yet. White. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Paul Allen's. Oh my god. You guys want to believe how many times I've had people contact me and say, can I interview you? I am just very shy. <laughs> I am a very shy person, but I don't know. Talking to a camera, which I know will eventually be in front of a large audience, is very different than like talking to someone in person or like a one-on-one. -on -one. I just am very shy. So if you go to my Instagram, hi, I'm Bambi right here. Hi, I'm Bambi. Yes, that is my username because I'm Bambi. Because I'm Bambi. You can go there and send me voice memos and ask me anything you want. All right, let's get into it. Hi, Amber. My name is Macy. My mother, Shirley, and I are huge fans of yours. What is your biggest goal? Is it weight loss surgery? Is it to move out of state? Is it to marry Feline? I'm so curious. Thank you so much. My biggest goal right now is really working on like healing myself. Uh, trauma. I was recently diagnosed with PTSD. Therapy has been very hard. It's not just like a once a week type of deal and it's just once a week where i get to sit down with my therapist and talk to him but he is actively having me do a therapy type of things every single day so that is a really big goal for me right now obviously on top of that weight loss weight loss surgery just improving my health in general is very very important to me la your la i know how important food is to you i mean food is the most important thing don't you agree hey girly pop i was just curious as to what your top three songs by binks are much love Mwah. And I don't know what it is, but I love your voice. Yeah. Okay, so if you guys don't know, Banks is like one of my top favorite singers ever. Please don't fall in love with someone else. The way that she sings and the way that her melodies are and her lyrics, I'm obsessed. And I promise one day I will come back to you. And to have to choose three top songs by her is hard. Every single song that she has ever made. Are the winners. It's very rare for me to like an artist so much that I enjoy every single one of their songs, but it's true. I heard you go with them soft lips. Yeah, you know, word of mouth. The square root of 69 is eight something. <laughs> it's a song. Just don't mind me. Every single one of her songs is a masterpiece. Stroke, Contaminated, and Fuck em Only We Know. Hey girl, so I've been following you pretty consistently um, since the pandemic started, um, but I do have a question for you about your intentions, because in the past you have mentioned that you sometimes troll, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if you think you're more genuine these days, or do you still troll a little bit? Thank you so much. I, without a doubt, have always admitted that in the past I trolled a lot, and obviously I wanted views, I wanted to be able to use YouTube as my job. Like <laughs> No, but nowadays, yes, I am without a doubt more genuine. Um, I've always clearly had a genuine side of me, always. I just feel like now, you know, trolling isn't worth it because I realized that instead of people finding humor in it, it just created a bad taste in people's mouths. Gotta be honest, now I'm afraid to be silly, to be myself, to say and do stupid things. That's who I am. That is who I am as a whole. And I just feel like because of my past and my troll era, like, no one really takes me seriously. We're at a time where if you think I'm trolling, maybe it's because you want me to be. While still filming the same content, I just feel like I'm more genuine. I am trying to open up more and I'm trying to show less of, like, the freak show aspects of what people have always wanted to see. We are currently in a stage here where I am trying to transform my channel into something different and it's been really hard. Thank you so much for the question. Next question. Uh... Hi, okay. Do you have any plans to move still? Do you have like an announcement city? We'd love to know. We're all very into it. Like moving vlogs are so fun, but I literally had to move so fast. It was like two to three days before I had to go under for invasive surgery because I had cancer. And I know what it means when I am told repeatedly when I just want to forget that I have precancerous cells. I'm not an idiot. I'm not a fucking idiot. And she was just like, you're healthy. Like, she, she had my charts in her hand. She was like, you're healthy. Um, but with this next move, definitely gonna happen. So I was going to move. I, I had a spot I wanted. Um, I was planning it. 
the whole nine. Some personal things started happening, some health things started happening. There were things that were preventing me from moving, especially like number one high. I was on a lease. I don't like breaking contracts. So I was waiting for that to end. I want to maybe move to another state. Like, and I don't even want to like settle. Like, I don't want to like just find some like apartment just to be there like i want to find an apartment that is like gonna like the dream apartment that i'm looking for and then when i finally did um that's when like the health thing started happening and i realized i really want weight loss surgery like that is number one on my list and where i want to move is drastically far away from the surgeon that i want one i just feel like there's such a like a um big world out there <laughs> i just want to experience it you know so so i had to choose between moving or weight loss surgery and i chose my health first i chose weight loss surgery first so once i get weight loss surgery once i heal from weight loss surgery once i get the a-okay -okay to move then i will be moving frazier has left the building i definitely think seattle's in your future bish bish it's totally in my future like you will see me in seattle like and i don't even want to like settle like i don't want to like just find some like apartment just to be there like i want to find an apartment that is like gonna like the dream apartment that i'm looking for like, I'm not just going to settle to be there. I'm literally, it's going to be a whole ass experience. I'm just kidding. I just, and it will be out of state. I'm just not so sure that I'm going to be sharing um, where I'm moving uh, until I'm actually like there and settled and like happy and thriving. You will see me in Seattle. But um, I will be moving, but right now it is on pause. And thank you so much for the question. Next so, question. Uh, hey, I'm a longtime fan, first time caller. I've been living abroad, specifically Japan, for coming up on eight years now. Wow. And um, I've been using your videos with my friends back in the States as a way to kind of keep bonding with them. What do you guys think about that? I was just wondering, I know you mentioned you have out of state friends before. I was just wondering how you bond and keep contact with them. Anyway, love you. Bye. I love that you bond with your friends over me. Like, that's so cute. I do have out-of-state friends, and I will say, it sucks. Ridiculous. You have no friends. Like, it sucks so bad that, like, everyone you love or everyone you want to be around are the people that are far away from you. But, like, weekly check-ins, um, there's an app that's actually amazing. I don't know if, like, different countries have it, but I do recommend it. It's called Marco Polo. It's so amazing. Is kind of like FaceTime, but you do it on your own time and they're able to like pause it and press play and respond when they want. A personal YouTube between you and your friend slash FaceTime slash Snapchat. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Um, but just make sure you check in with one another and do things together. Like I have a friend that's out of state and we're actually currently reading a book together. Well, we haven't started it yet. Um, you know, just things like that. But thank you so much for the question. Next question. I just wanted to say that I used to be a hater and traitor. You are a traitor. I think that the negativity really impacted my life and I decided one day to stop consuming it all together and it really helped me. And I think that says something. Um, that's it. <laughs> Aww, I normally like skip over ones like this, but I will say I'm going to keep this in here because this is actually something that I completely relate to as well because there was a time where I would watch reaction channels all the time. I know you're watching me. The negativity that reaction channels create and their community creates it really is detrimental to people's mental health without a doubt. I, always feel like me. I know what is causing this. I know what is causing my mental health to be bad. So I am going to step away and I'm going to stop engaging. And I just wish you nothing but the best. And thank you so much for opening up. Next question. Meow. 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 Sorry, I, wait, you're 16 speaking to a 21 year old, but you as a 20 -year -old, 21 year old wouldn't speak to a 16 year old. Only if you're old enough, baby, 18 and over, 16 and under. I'm calling the cops. I think you might have answered your own question. That 21 year old needs to find someone else their age. Next question. 
Hi, I'm Berlin. I know I'm actually currently writing a story, a book, and I am going to send it to you regardless. Cause I was just wondering if you'd be willing to promote or review. I mean, is that something you'd be willing to do? I'm just curious. Thank you. And good luck on writing a book. That is also a, a goal that I have. Yes, absolutely. Without a doubt, I am willing to support. So next question is... I'm Berlin. Do you have any tips on how to not give into temptation and how not to binge? Um, I hope you're having a good day and a happy stuff. The biggest advice I can give is just to accept the discomfort, that feeling you get when like you really, really want to like overeat or like you said, binge. I, I know like it's hard to explain, um, so I might be explaining it kind of bad, but that just like that feeling inside of you where it feels like, oh my God, I need to have this. Oh my God, just don't do it. Like literally stand up, leave the spot that you're currently at, walk away from it and do a different activity start doing jumping jacks listen to your favorite song dance around to it and i promise you it, it will amaze you how strong you actually are and i know you can do it and thank you so much for the question all right next question hi i'm lynn uh, my question is what would be your biggest accomplishment in all these years on youtube thank you not dying i would say that like my biggest accomplishment on youtube is like reaching over 200,000 subscribers like I remember when I reached 300 I, I remember this so well I thought it was so cool and you know that was back when I was like 23 I don't know god I've been on YouTube forever I think I might have been 22 that means so much to me and that's like a big accomplishment like for sure uh thank you so much for the question um next question yes yes you you ma'am hi Amber I was wondering how are you might be doing are you two doing good but I just want to ask how you two doing and I love you too very much Um, me and Feline are doing really, really good. So thank you so much for asking. Come and rescue me. I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Okay. Remember that. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Yep. I saw it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> one pair of pants later like i notice that with therapy so many different aspects of my life is improving and that includes the relationship i have with feline i know i've always said therapy isn't for everyone and i i want to say i still stand by that i think that once you really want it and once you finally find a therapist you connect with therapy is for everyone and it can be if you like put in the work just like learning to trust somebody is so hard for me and i feel like with therapy and just like talking about trauma etc etc has helped me so much more thank you so much for the question the next question is hi i'm berlin i'm a new viewer of yours and i've been watching you for like two months now and my question is why do you keep focusing on like the negativity instead of the positivity I have tried to talk about this in the past and i think it's really just because i feel like the negativity is so much louder it's there the most like i have a lot that i'm like not talking about and i do talk a bit about this in therapy and it's very common for people who went through a lot like a lot of trauma in the past to like focus a lot on the negative especially when you're suffering with like anxiety and other things like, and it's really really hard for me and i just feel like it's easier to stand up for myself sometimes than to ignore it but i know that i can get better at reacting and reacting less and less and less that's very important to me and i promise i will start doing better but i will never be perfect and thank you so much for the question wait, 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 wait. one last question okay you guys so we're gonna do one more question hi amberlynn my question is if you could invite five people who are currently living to a group dinner at your house who would you invite the people who you don't already know you know famous people authors that sort of thing love you wow five people i don't know miley cyrus banks drew barrymore adam sandler blake lively all right thank you guys so much for this thank you guys so much for being wonderful and i will see you in the next video bye